I'm Joan Epler. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, Harvard Medical School. Dr. Epler discovered a new way of life. Today, we're going to talk about people-centered business leadership. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life is knowing who you are moment by moment. This means know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. There are four locations, and you can only think from one at a time. There's the head, the heart, the gut, and the mind, which is outside the body. Today, we're going to talk about how this applies to business leadership. For three types of companies, the startup, the hyper-growth company, and the established company. Before we talk about business leadership, what is the function of the company board? Today, the board of the startup and hyper-growth company has two functions, bringing outside advice and removing an incompetent or egocentric CEO who only makes decisions based on personal ideas and not for the organization. What leadership traits are needed for board members? For startup and hyper-growth companies, board members bring valuable advice regarding the product or service, management processes, and important connections. But they must be willing to accept the CEO's decisions regarding their advice. They are not in control of the company, and the board should not be involved in day-to-day operations. The CEO is in charge and can accept the advice, modify the advice, or not use the advice. The CEO must make instant decisions. If the decision is correct, the company thrives. If new facts develop, the decision can be changed. If the decision is wrong, it can be fixed fast. Board members need to be willing to accept these decisions and not interfere with operations and management. Board members serve an important role by providing outside advice. What does business leadership mean to you? I call this people-centered leadership at all levels, including executives, managers, team leaders, and the employees. It's not egocentric leadership with self-centered thinking. And worse, the leader with the dark triad personality. This is the extreme narcissism, Machiavellian behavior of doing anything to the family, friends, or the organization to get ahead. And having no feeling of regret or remorse for destroying other people's lives. These self-centered leaders destroy the company, people, and the community. What are the traits of good business leaders? Making instant decisions is more important than ever. I asked my friend, who is the CEO of a billion-dollar manufacturing facility, what's your job? And he replied, I make decisions. If a decision is needed, make it instantly. Waiting for more information or letting events play themselves out creates time for bad events to occur. For example, do you fire two top performers for being poor team players and fighting with each other? Or let events unfold. Fire them before irreversible harm. The teams will perform better, and the organization will be more successful. There is risk, such as a lawsuit or personal revenge, but this can be limited by providing the transition with all the help and financial support as needed at the personal level. Making instant decisions is key for business success. The Navy SEALs talk about extreme ownership. What does that mean? It means taking total responsibility, not only for yourself, 
but also up and down the entire management chain. This means no blame. If someone on your team makes a mistake, don't blame them. It's your responsibility because you did not give them clear directions, teach them well enough, or give them sufficient resources. Same thing with your boss. If you get chewed out from the boss, it's your fault. Take responsibility. You didn't give the boss enough information, or you didn't clarify what was needed. Do you have an example? During the Navy SEAL training, Jocko Willinks, boat number two always won, and boat number six always lost. They could hear that leader and the crew shouting and yelling at each other as they came in, and that was number six coming in last. They were blaming each other for losing. They were blaming each other for not doing a good job. Jocko switched leaders, and sure enough, boat number six won. There are no bad crews, only bad leaders. Be responsible for their entire organization with no blame, no criticism, and no excuses. People need to take responsibility for everyone up and down the management chain. What about commitment? Unwavering commitment is essential. If you say yes, do it at all costs. A poorly committed person stops the organization and has a terrible reputation. These people cannot be relied on when things go badly. What's positive communication mean at work? Positive communication means that both individuals feel better after the interaction. One-ups, put-downs, and negative destructive communication stops productivity and creativity. Negative communication comes from thinking from the anger center or that self-thinking stress center. Think from the heart with kindness and from the mind with creativity. Positive social communication produces results, innovation, and a healthy work environment. Sounds like total commitment and positive communication are key factors for successful business leadership. What else? Prioritize and execute is one of the Navy SEALs leadership principles. This means determine the number one priority at any given time and complete the task before moving on to the next. Can you give an example? To do your best job, do the second part of the job. Every job has two parts. The first part is the job that you've been trained to do. The second part is the extra positive people interaction part. A good doctor diagnoses and treats. The best does this with kindness. The good plumber fixes the pipes. The best doesn't destroy the carpet and scare the homeowner. What's another example? Make it a priority to complete the last 5% of the job. The last 5% of the job is so hard for some people to finish they never do. For example, A beautiful neighborhood house is built in several months, but scattered pieces of cardboard and debris are not picked up for months, and the sidewalk remains cracked and dangerous for two years. Or the co-worker goes home leaving 15 minutes of work for someone else to finish. Do the second part of the job and complete the last 5% of the work every time. What health habits are required for successful business leadership? Eight hours of sleep every night are needed for peak productivity and innovation. Six of these hours are for recharging the brain energy, and two of the hours are for dream sleep for the heart and those feelings of kindness and giving. A healthy nutrition lifestyle is needed by eating the right foods in the right amount at the right time and prepared in a healthy manner. Other health habits include one hour of daily exercise, learning something new every day, have compassion for yourself and others, and knowing your true self moment by moment by knowing where you're thinking from. 
Everyone needs to practice positive leadership at home and at work. Do you have any closing comments? Organizational leadership means making instant decisions, having total responsibility, unwavering commitment, and positive communication. Be exceptional by being your true self. Thrive on your uniqueness. Think from the heart with kindness, empathy, and giving. Think from the mind with creativity. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing today's segment. Next time, we'll talk about the influence of positive words. Best wishes for a great day.